This video is supported in part by Tommy and the Order of Cosmic Champions. If you enjoy The NeverEnding Story and Masters of the Universe, this new novel coming fall 2022 is right up your alley. I am very nearly finished with construction of this LEGO Atari 2600 set that came out in celebration of the 45th anniversary of the release of the original Atari VCS. If you've been watching all along, you know that as I've gone through the process of constructing the console, I've been doing these small videos highlighting the design of the peripherals. We looked at a couple of cartridges, the joystick. In this video, I want to highlight step number 16 toward the very end of the manual. This is the centipede cartridge and associated scene that goes along with it. With some very minor variation, assembly of this part of the set is right in line with what we've come to expect based on the previous two cartridges we put together. Most of that signature artwork on the cover of the cartridge is accomplished once again with decals and a few cleverly placed tiles. And then there's the construction of the scene, which in this case is the centipede front and center. You get to build this colorful and well-articulated centipede that sits atop a hill strewn with mushrooms, just as you would expect from the game. Nothing too challenging here. It took me maybe 15 or 20 minutes to to put together and now take a look at the finished product. Here then is the completed build for the centipede cartridge and the little centipede scene that has the centipede kind of climbing around some rocks and mushrooms. I'll give you a closer look at that in just a second, but first let's turn our attention to the cartridge. Once again, as before, the cartridge has a completely studless design accomplished by all of these black tiles that go all the way around the exterior. Uh, there's a little slot in the back where you can see green that represents the printed circuit board. The cover art here on the face is slightly different than the previous ones. The centipede comes a little bit later in the life of the Atari. So it had this chrome decal with the red Atari 2600 logo. This is accomplished partially with silver tiles around the outside and then decals on the interior. This is actually a red tile that continues this red band across there. I would again like to compare this to a genuine Atari Centipede cartridge. And you can just look and see uh, sizing just as before, just a little bit smaller overall than an original 2600 cartridge, but definitely preserving the look, feel, and aesthetic. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at the artwork. So here we have the real Atari cartridge on the right and the one from the Lego set on the left. And I just like to point out the little things that they did here. So the little archer in the middle here, the gnome that is your character that's fighting the centipede and all the spiders, he's replaced by a minifig, of course. The main character, the centipede, has been replaced by a Lego-fied centipede. Interestingly enough, that centipede is not the same as the one that is in the scene, designed quite differently, but again, it is a Lego-fied centipede. And in general, I really want to point out on this spider. Notice this spider has shoes on, and the spider here has these Lego pieces on him as if they are shoes. All in all, they did the same thing here where they Lego-fied even the artwork that's on the cartridge. And now that we've completed all three of the cartridges, I can finally finish this little guy. He's already got asteroids and adventure in him, so let's add centipede into the mix. Ah, all done there. On to the little centipede scene then. Here he is, and the primary thing here is really the centipede. There are a few rocks and a few mushrooms of variable height, but the centipede is the star of the show. He's got just a four or five segments, a head and a tail, and a bit of articulation, which is kind of cool. You can take him off of there and we can see just how much he can move. He has little antenna that move. And ultimately there's one piece that will allow you to stick him right on the base of this scene. Of the three little cartridge scenes, I think I would hazard to say that the centipede maybe is my least favorite. It's the least imaginative of them. And that's not necessarily a ding against this centipede. I mean, they gave us the primary antagonist of the game in an environment with mushrooms, but you ran up against that creed of asteroids with the, the bullets and the explosion and the adventure castle that had a little dot in it, which I thought was just absolutely genius. And this has really got me thinking how cool it would be if Lego would just continue to team up with Atari and keep putting out more cartridges. Can you imagine? little $20 sets that include just a little scene and a cartridge. Wouldn't you love to see what they would do with the Yars Revenge or Battlezone or Combat? And although I know I said this may be my least favorite of the three, still very respectful of Centipede and a great addition to this set. We have very nearly wrapped up this series, highlighting the different parts of this Lego Atari build. One more coming, and spoiler alert, it's pretty cool. We're gonna look at this console. I have that coming. If you wanna be sure you see that and catch up on any of the previous ones, take a look at this playlist I have here that has the entire series of this adventure. Hey, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.